We got to touch on Holly uh, Holly Handies before we yes. get to the set questions. Yeah. Uh, what? How did that come about? Sean talked about it, but how, let's hear your take. Uh, I was so thrilled to be uh, Sean. My memory of it, I don't know if he <laughs> remembers it differently, is that uh, he uh, came to me because I would never have gone to him and just be like, do you want to do a podcast? Yeah, because I always like really looked up to him. And uh, you, and it doesn't seem like your type of thing. You you shy away from the sort of the the f- yeah, foreground. Yeah, yes. So that was never something I would have even considered. Uh, but we used to. Okay, so this is a good. I want. I do want to talk about Sean a little bit because he's been another. He's been a hugely important part of my whole. Experience. Of course, yeah, yeah. Because I showed up in the Alan Gregory room on day one. He his partner is this guy Dominic Dierkus. Yeah, past he's Box a, Angeles guest. Yes, that's right. That's right. <laughs> That's Sorry, right. I gotta I've, put no, it in I've seen his, his <laughs> clip. Uh, and those guys, like, I just walk in the room and they just fucking blew me away. How amazingly talented they are! Just like sustain, like the bit saturation with them was like infuriating. Like yeah. you, like I felt like there was no possible way I could compete with these two people who are like the funniest people I've ever encountered for in sure. my life. Uh, just like impossibly good. Uh, and I feel like I remember like coming home to my girlfriend and being like, what am I going to do? Like these, like I just, it, it's never going to happen at this place as long as these guys are there just being so good all the time. Right. Uh, and there was a choice at some point where you can just like, be mad at them and like resent them and like try to undercut them behind the scenes, which is a choice a lot of people make. Uh, just like, <laughs> uh, or uh, you, I decided to try and uh, learn from them, which is basically like imitate them yeah. and like try to get better so I could maybe be as good yeah, totally. as, as Dom and Sean were. Uh, something I've learned out here is surround yourself with people that, that are better than you. Look, I that's mean, the way you're going to totally. grow. Because it's like the beat, like when the Beatles got together. It was this is the only band I'm what familiar are we, with. Where are we going? With uh, <laughs> so me and Sean are like <laughs> Paul and John, uh, but it's not like it just so happened that two of the greatest musicians of all time just happened to be in Liverpool or whatever right. like, at this moment. They were both good but they were both close enough to each and they were both like assholes enough to always want to be better right you know they made each other totally into what they were yeah yeah um and george (laughs) was in there as well uh but uh george the ultimate surround yourself with people that are better (laughs) well i mean he genuinely like Anyway, we have to get into the fucking Beatles. <laughs> I don't know enough about it. I was about to like expound on something I don't really know. So you meet about. Sean. You're inspired by him. You're looking super up to him. inspired by Sean. Uh, uh, I I still think he's one of the naturally fun- funniest people I've ever met. Um, and he came to me at some point and asked because he was really into reality shows. And so I would start watching a lot of these shows mostly to have something to talk about at work sure. with like him and these other people. But we would always talk about these shows, and uh, he knew Besser, uh, who has an Earwolf right. show, and uh, he said, let's uh, let's pitch Earwolf a show where we just talk about reality shows. Yeah. Um, so that was the first show. Nobody liked it. <laughs> and we sort of liked uh, the parts of it where we would just do more straight up comedy. Right. Um, but you jumped into a podcast right away just because it was Sean, or were you nervous about talking? Totally nervous. We... Uh, we did a pilot just like at home on our laptop, like on our phones or whatever. Um, that uh, I haven't listened to it recently, but I'm sure it's like very like quavery voice. I mean, we were just sitting alone and being scared to like right. talk into our phones with no with no audience. Um, <laughs> and I was much more scared than he was. But a lot of it was like being scared of not uh, succeeding in front of Sean. Sure, you know. Um, who and now we are on somewhat of a more equal footing in terms of our friendship, but uh, <laughs> early on it was a lot of me like trying to keep up yeah. with uh, with him, and it still is that. And like, uh, and the voice of the show now, and a lot of my voice, frankly, in general, is like influenced by by him. Yeah, and Holly Handbook, of course, just came from the comedy aspect of the 
reality of show. the reality show show yeah we would pretend to be these like hollywood jerks at the beginning of every show who had these like <laughs> we talk about how our careers were going we have these like horrible careers but are very like self-important and uh those characters just we just prefer to do that all the time rather than shifting in and out of our real yeah voices and it's so fun and do you think maybe sort of uh hiding behind the character yeah. has made it easier, easier for you it's to a million times easier. to yeah yes. get away from your shyness or i your listen passing to out. the reality show show now and i kind of cringe uh, uh, at my real self like trying to be funny and not succeeding. <laughs> uh, because when you're playing this idiot you can just kind of indulge anything and when you Make a mistake. So I have noticed that Sean talks about the Sufi Weaver on every sure. podcast he's ever done. Uh, so <laughs> what I have learned from listening to him on every podcast is when the Sufi Weaver makes a mistake, they weave that into the fold. Right. And that's very easy to do when you're yeah. playing an idiot. <laughs> um, oh, I love it. So, yeah, it's, it's, it's definitely easier than the, than the real thing. 